Public Corruption has issued uh, notices uh, to both uh, Supriya Srinet as well as uh, Dilip Ghosh. These notices uh, are over personal attacks uh, made by these politicians uh, and uh, the Election Commission has said that these com comments uh, are found to be offensive and prima facie are, uh, is a violation of uh, the model code of conduct. Uh, remember, uh, the, the EC has uh, now issued a notice to Supriya Srinath and uh, the Libo. This is in regard with uh, the comments made uh, by, allegedly made by uh, Supriya Srinath on uh, her social media platform against uh, Kangana Ranaut and uh, uh, the BJP, the opposite, uh, the uh, the BJP and the government had uh, uh, strongly reacted to this, and now EC issuing notice to Supriya Srinath uh, as well as uh, Dilip Ghosh. Uh, uh, like I mentioned, these notices are over those personal attacks by politicians. Uh, the Election Commission has said uh, that the comments, uh, they were found to be offensive and uh, prima facie violation of the model code. Well, Supriya Srinath had been in the news uh, for all the wrong reasons, uh, especially after making, uh, allegedly making those comments on her social media platform uh, uh, where uh, uh, she used uh, uh, unparliamentary language with respect to Kangana Ranaut. And uh, the Election Commission has now taken uh, uh, the cogniz cognizance of the matter and said that these notices are being issued and uh, that these comments uh, are found to be offensive. Maria Shakil joins us uh, to give us more details. Maria, what more can you tell us? Yes, yeah, so the Election Commission has uh, issued notices uh, uh, to both uh, 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 to Supriya Srinath and also Dilip Ghosh. Remember, Dilip Ghosh only recently had made some very offensive comments um, against uh, Mamata Banerjee, which the Commission says were objectionable and disrespectful. And hence, they have been asked to uh, show, uh, to, uh, you know, in fact, a show cause notice has been issued to Dilip Ghosh and he has told to respond by 29th of March because this is being seen as offensive comment, prima facie, uh, which is a violation of the model code of conduct. Now, looking at the other side, which is Supriya Srinath's comment, uh, which she had put uh, on her Instagram page, which, of course, she deleted later. Uh, again, uh, the time that has been given is that until 29th of March, she should uh, respond as to why an uh, action should not be taken against her for making a comment which is extremely objectionable and harsh. Uh, so this is being seen as a violation of model code of conduct. When uh, if, Even if you criticize a political party, then it should be confined to policies and programs. Uh, the parties and the candidates uh, must restrain from criticism on all aspects of private life. And uh, public activities should be seen of the leaders, not private matters. And this statement of Supriya Srinet is being seen as violation uh, of model code of conduct because this is a low-level personal attack, uh, which is about some kind of insult uh, to the rivals and which should not be made uh, because the Election Commission has gone on to talk about the manual. And the code of conduct is very clear about... Uh, how such comments should be completely avoided as this is also a violation and it cannot seen as freedom of an expression. Maria, is there, uh, is there uh, any sort of... Uh, uh, uh is there any sort of uh, 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 action being, uh, or uh, is it uh, expected to be taken against uh, Supriya Shine? Possible, uh, or, or even against Dalip Ghosh, because notices have been sent to Supriya Shine and Dalip Ghosh, uh, one of the BJP, another one of the Congress, because uh, their comments have been found to be undignified and in bad taste. Uh, both of them have been show caused and answers uh, have been sought by 29th of March. Uh, what has been said also that uh, in in case that uh, the response is not uh, given to the commission then action will be initiated by the commission for that so time has been given till 29 as to when action uh, uh, you know they have to give an explanation as to why action should not be taken against them for the comments uh, which have been made by both the leaders Yes, uh, Maria, in fact, uh, the Congress had uh, already on uh, Tuesday, it has uh, said uh, that there is no place for such language in public discourse. And uh, uh, Supriya Shinet, uh, she also cleared the air. But uh, despite that, uh, the Election Commission has uh, issued a notice. Yes, because they have taken this issue up, just as the Trinamool Congress has taken up the issue of Dilip Ghosh. 
So in political season, uh, and we are in the middle of uh, heated political, uh, you know, battle which is playing out. Uh, so we were expecting some kind of an action. Uh, NCW has taken action, but uh, when it came to model code of conduct violation, the election commission says that prime of SI they feel that this is objectionable and hence uh, violation of model code of conduct. Uh, and and there is a clear guideline and code of conduct which has been specified for various political parties. Uh, there is a clear specific guideline with regards to the language, the tone and tonality which can be used during elections. And both these statements have been found to be distasteful and in violation of that code. And uh, both the leaders have been asked to explain as to why they made those statements, one. And second, why action should not be taken um, as per the rules which have been prescribed.